I'm back. Rodrance from the Black and White Network. Well, my goodness. It seems there's no limits to what can or will be turned woke. And in this case, we have the Major League Baseball season heading this way. Starts tomorrow. They got rid of the shift, so I may actually be back on watching a little baseball this year. Hopefully, maybe, if Rob Manford doesn't move another All-Star game. Well, one of the uh, tried and true sort of traditional things to have at a baseball game is, of course, Cracker Jacks. Except this year you may not get actual Cracker Jacks because it seems maybe in the tradition that was Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben being Thanos snapped into oblivion, it seems Frito-Lay and the Pepsi Company have decided that Cracker Jacks needs to be woke. Not because Cracker is in the name. Now, that wouldn't be offensive to anybody on the left at all. I'm sure they would welcome that to stay on the package. Well, they've decided to make Cracker Jack into a Cracker Jill. Yeah, this is a thing. Uh, Let's get to this. This is the Daily Wire. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jill. You can't make this shit up. Cracker Jack receives woke repackaging for gender equality. Wow. The makers of Cracker Jack, the caramel popcorn snack popular at baseball stadiums across the country and predominantly featured in the classic baseball anthem, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, is receiving a woke repackaging including a rewriting of the song with a gender equity message. Quote, Sometimes all it takes is for you to believe that you can do something is to see someone who looks like you do it first. Cracker Jill wrote on its website. Hmm. Let's take a look right quick. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's their new woke slogan. In the spirit that Cracker Jack proudly introduces, Cracker Jill. Here we go. Right here. Right here. Let's make sure that the cartoon is diverse. Because we want to make sure everybody is abundantly clear about how woke we are. Wow. It is in the spirit that Cracker Jack proudly introduces Cracker Jill. A team of new faces showing girls that they're represented... Oh, that's a key lefty term. Even in our most iconic snacks, Cracker Jack will be repackaged in its snacks in a five special edition bags featuring women of different races to represent girls in sports. When is the Leah Thomas Cracker uh, Jack? Maybe? Question mark? Will that one come with a question mark? Cracker Jack? Question mark? The bags will be on sale in professional ballparks around the country. And anyone who wants to donate $5 or more to the Women's Sports Foundation through the Cracker Jill website will receive a free bag. Frito-Lay pledged to donate $200,000 to the Women's Sports Foundation to support gender equity in sports. Quote, after more than 125 years as one of the sport's most iconic snacks, Cracker Jack is adding a new face to his roster with the introduction of Cracker Jill to celebrate the women who break down barriers in sports. Frito-Lay, the makers of Cracker Jack, wrote in a press release. Tapping into the brand's rich history with America's favorite pastime, Cracker Jill comes to life through five different representations on a series of special edition bags, which will be available at the start of this year's baseball season in professional ballparks across the country and through a donation of $5 or more to Women's Foundation. We are currently inspired by many women who are making history by breaking the mold. We want to celebrate their achievements while supporting the progress. The progress. Here we go. Frito-Lay, North American Vice President of Marketing, Tina Mahal, says Cracker Jack has been part of the sports For over a century, as records were made and rules were changed. We've been so inspired about how girls and women are changing the face of games. So in this spirit, we introduced Cracker Jill to show 
girls that they're represented even in our most iconic snacks. You know what? Uh, I got to be honest with you here. Uh, and here is the new lyrics, by the way, for the new song. Uh, take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jill. All right. No one can stop you if you have the will. So let's root, root for a girl's dream. Interesting. Because uh, in the original song, isn't it root, root for the home team? It doesn't actually say anything about the boys. So why is that rewritten to represent only females? The home team could, in theory, have boys and girls playing for it. I'm just saying. Uh, wow. Okay. What a weird sort of thing to find right before the baseball season is going to start. And every company, every company, Pepsi in this case, slash Frito-Lay, has got to do some virtue signaling to make sure that to those lefties, those people, well, for the time being on Twitter, Elon Musk, for the time being, for the people that are left on Twitter that don't get triggered and leave off of Twitter, we've got to show everybody how woke we are. I've once told John Matrix, it is a race to be the most woke. Nobody wants to lose that race if they are trying to show that they are uh, fully di diverse and inclusive. Wow. Yeah. Um, so how about this? How about this? I won't eat any Cracker Jills or Cracker Jacks this baseball season. I'll just, I'll just skip those this time. Yeah, and I'll stay with the original song, Thank You Very Much, when I root, root, root for the Yankees. Yeah. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. 